Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's another Joe Sizzy back here with another Let's Play Marvel Spider-Man 2. And last time, shit really hit the fan. And the Venom, or Harry, got a hold of the meteorite that uh, Oscorp was, uh, they had recovered along, you know, in that crash site years ago. And that's where they found the symbiote as well, but... Apparently this meteorite, I guess, is what carried the symbiote and was its home or powered it up. But anyway, gave it a boost, and now it's, as you can see, he's got all these, uh, all the giant tendrils all over, coiling around the city. And uh, he's even changed the weather. He's, it's it's uh, that effective. But MJ says she's got a lead on the meteorite, so we're head back to their house and uh, hopefully put a stop to this once and for all okay meant to catch that updraft but that didn't work out well at least it hasn't hit the neighborhoods this is your last chance to collect resources to upgrade gear before the end of the story okay yeah See, haven't been able to do side quest for a while since the tendrils are over the city, but Central Park Reservoir, the water system. Probably that didn't look like my pet rock. More and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, Planet Goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes, but it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah, and that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. You know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. <sighs> no more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? Theoretically. Falafels. What Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Yeah, wait, wait a minute. I just noticed I didn't... Th those weren't the suits I had for Peter and Miles. So the meteorite is somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. Jeez, I was just gonna make a... I was gonna make a joke like, Oh, what are we gonna do, Mary Jane? Use your taser against symbiotes? And the game said, unironically, yes. Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. <laughs> Don't anyone forget it. Or anyone know it. Well, except for all of Miles' family and friends. And Martin Lee. He knows who both of them are. You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Here's the 
Here's the thing, though. You're gonna have to catch me first. It's amazing he didn't use those anti-venom powers the last time Venom was pinning him to the ground. Jeez, why don't Pierre and Miles just use those? Take them out in one shot. You wanted a story, Watson. What was that? Dead end? No. Alright, I've got to shoot. Come on. That glowing thing's not anything? Oh, those are just flares. Oh, please. Whoever dropped these flares. I hope they made it out. Oh, he's done for. Just hang on. These things are more than just flares behind. Those flares are wired to blow. Let's test that. Alright, apparently this is a cover shooter now. Alright, where'd that other one go? Oh, there he is. Skulking about. Alright, where'd it go? Oh, under here. Uh, there it is. Let's attract them, and then... Ooh. Okay. Stupid auto-aim. Otherwise, I would have hit the barrel. Oh, it's got a recharge, of course. Ah, you can't hit me from here, but neither can I hit you. Good now. Cast it in the fire. I can also end the world. Did I already make that joke in this playthrough? I can't remember. <laughs> hey, it's probably what you should have opened with. Oh, it's all over my bag. Time to run. Time to go. Run, run, run. Oh, nope, no time for you. Oh, jeez. Okay, I, I'm guessing I'm supposed to actually fight them. Ah! Game over, man. Alright, where's the... There it is.
I was talking to my buddy the other day, and he said during these MJ sections, because he dislikes them even more than I do. And it said, he said, uh, he, you could lower the difficulty down to the lowest setting, and you're pretty much invincible as Mary Jane. So he would just lower it during these sections, and then, and then put it back to normal <laughs> after it was done. Oh my goodness, which, I don't know, if this continues, I might have to do the same. Didn't quite have the distance. Oh, where did you come from? Up that ladder and I'm in clear. And besides a few surprises, this one's not too bad. Okay, there's another surprise. Wow, okay, I'm guessing I have to, uh... Yeah, use the barrels around here. Let's see, there's another one. Will that reach him? Yeah, it did, nice. He coming this way? Not as fast as Superman, and he had trouble with the first one he faced. In fact, he needed anti-venom powers. What the hell is your deal, dude? Oh, she, okay, yeah, she's dead. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Time to go, Miles. Interrupt the job fair. <laughs> this is where we became best friends. Yeah, it is. And now it's where we become brothers. Boy for Oscarp. Oscarp is the future. Is that a little too late? Okay, I guess on a, I just gotta move around. Yeah. Uh oh. I was 
trying to save you. Feel like that to us. Hey, thanks for tra <laughs> transitioning me to the next area. I love what you done with the school, Harry. Did I ever mention that? You want to join us? Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a choice. Okay, does he have... Okay. Has he got armor or something? Or do I, do I need to take care of them first? Wow, okay. That was... Uh, quite a convergence of damage there. Really open out to start the bottom. Okay, good. Symbiote's dropping in. Yeah, at least they're not very strong. And I dodged that. I know, I was there. Okay. I was gonna say we just start this one over again. After everything we've done for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a choice. The symbiote's dropping in. Alright, well, so much for that. Now I gotta wait for it to charge up again, I guess. Fumble his ass. Timing is off. Timing is all off. Of course, this pity party doesn't help either. I'm just gonna jump from. Just keep constantly jumping. Didn't think I got caught in the first time. After you, oh us. After everything we've done for you. Can I write you a personal check? Well, 
Symbiote's dropping in. At least this is a better start. We know what's best for you, for everyone. I gave you everything you ever wanted, and you threw us away. I should have been better. I'm so sorry. Oh my I'm, God. I'm not even sure. Am I supposed to go to one of these other ones? Just as soon as it charges up. I was going to say, you better grab him. <laughs> Get over here. Start the next phase already. Spend enough time on that second phase. That's what just, just the colonoscopy said. I'm never gonna heal the world with you. Yeah, genius, you showed us visions on its location, so... And we knew it was the source of your power, so we took it. I'm sorry, what? Okay, that's new. Well, to me, at least. <laughs> I guess I haven't read enough Spider-Man comics. <laughs> I didn't know he could grow wings. Luckily, the streets are all empty. Was that necessary? Let's get this to the accelerator. You think they would de? You think they would decommissioned it after what happened in the center? Bang, ow.
That's what I said. Our future doesn't belong to you. Trust me, don't want your future. I made a promise, Harry, that I'd fight for you. You don't care about us. You don't know us. Oh, okay. And wow, that was not good there. Don't kill me. Nice. Okay. No, my super powerful taser sonic gun. You think he would destroy the accelerator? That way, nothing could destroy the rock. I guess that's what he's trying to do with spreading his little tendrils everywhere. Okay, that was in the forest. We remember what you did. Harry, stand next to Symbio talking, not you. You were jealous. That's why you pushed us apart. Maybe I was, but Pete wasn't Pete. You need to hit him with more of bark. You think you're better than us, don't you? Oh. It doesn't matter if you like me or not. I'm here for you. Ah, I was wondering if that worked in midair. He's bothering you trying to crush his head with a meteorite. You just get a one of his spiky tendrils. Or bite his head off like he did for Craven. Fly, my pretty fly. Pretty 
for a square to mash your friend's face in. Give me back my friend! We are your friend. If anti-venom is so effective, why don't you just do it all the time? Do the glowy anti-venom hand. Hey kid, don't bring me down with you. This is a rusty chopper. Yeah, tag team smashing. Should have known he would supercharge the particle accelerator. From now on, every electronic device or anything r runs electricity will just have a, a Miles Morales port where you can stick his fist in to supercharge it. Fight, Harry! Fight! I can't. I'm done. You have to. One of these, gotta match up the dot with the little bar. I'm done. Either way, Pete. Mm -hmm. We still have time? No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Uh, what'll kill me? Let's heal the world, Pete. Together. See, I told shooting it. Told you shooting it was effective. We're in yeah. business. Web it up really tight this time. Oh, or maybe not. Symbiote bomb on him. All right, you saved Harry, but those tendrils are still here.
auxiliary malfunction because the whole facility was fucked up and it destroyed New York. The end. Wow, they just got all the symbiote blasted right off them. There's no residual goo on anything. He's really lucky. I'll be back next time. We did it. There is another... Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Those still running? Yeah, I guess I'd be busier than ever. Uh, who are you, sir? <laughs> oh, you're welcome for saying your son, by the way. <sighs> there are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. And we just fixed that window. <laughs> Boy, those Osborne boys sure use some sturdy canes. Why do bad things happen to bad people? G-Serum ready. ASAP. Now what could the G and G-Serum stand for? You got it, sir. We got Dr. Birkin on the other line. He's bringing the G-Serum, I mean the G-Virus. For the last <laughs> right few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. 
But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Jeez. Really went there, huh? Hated that phrase. They're the pandemic. Episode one. Done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Are these good to go? In a minute. I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> One pancake each? What? what kind of breakfast joint is this? Thanks again for the donation, Peter. <laughs> really gotta fix those stairs. If there were any on that side of the porch. Talk to Miles about not yet. <sighs> you ready? Uh, Miles, I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure? It's, it's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Oh, I think he will. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you. Always. Hey, bro. See you. And don't worry, I can always, you know, go to that giant tower in the middle of the city, you know. What is it called? Uh, Revengers Tower? Yeah, that's it. Get some of those Avengers going. Have them actually defend the city for once. <laughs> well, there it is. I already knew he, that they, I think someone from Insom Insomniac has already come out and said that the next Spider-Man game will, 
primarily feature Miles, if not exclusively. Well, uh, my thoughts on this game. I didn't like it as much as the first. I thought the first game was really, really good. I thought it had a more focused story, a more emotionally impactful story. Uh, not that this one wasn't emotional or anything like that. Honestly, in my opinion, it was a little too emotional. It felt like felt like Peter was apologizing every other breath when, you know, it's fine to admit when you made a mistake, mistake, but it, it's I mean, hardly any of this stuff was his fault. A symbiote suit, yeah, he acted like a jerk, but it didn't really translate that well on the uh, in the game. I mean, it was the first one of him being a jerk was like ignoring their text messages or not answering their calls right away. It just it wasn't. He didn't have the, uh, it wasn't quite the same as like in the movie Spider-Man 3, which again, it was, well, not again, but in fairness was kind of corny and cheesy in the way they portrayed this, the uh, suit's effect on Peter and his behavior. But yeah, it just, I don't know. It, I've said it multiple times in the stream and I'm sure I've made my feelings perfectly clear, but I grew up as Peter Parker Spider-Man. He'll he'll always be Spider-Man to me, and I don't mind Miles. I don't hate Miles. I just I don't know. I just he's he's kind of a derivative character, to be honest. He just he gets all the same powers. He's on the same character art. As, you know, he seems like all have the same issues as Peter, but he's got all the, you know, he, and he's got these electrical powers, which makes no sense. You know, I know it's comic books and superheroes, but um, spiders don't emit electricity. And yeah, I just don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's, I don't think he's a bad character. I just don't think he's a great character and he's not Spider-Man to me, but maybe this isn't the best time to be venting those feelings out, but um, yeah, like I said, story in this game, I didn't really care for it, to be honest. There were some, uh, I don't know, there were some moments that were okay, um, like in the Harry's introducing the game and him, you know, catching up with Peter and whatnot and starting the foundation and, uh, I did like that moment between Lee and Miles when they're in Peter's psyche. I thought that was a uh, pretty raw moment, pretty well, you know, pretty well done. Although I didn't like their confrontation to begin with because it wasn't even a circumstance that was created by either of those characters, either Miles or Lee. It was probably it was you know perpetrated by Craven when he just for some reason decided to have a Coliseum fight out of nowhere, but... And... Also, I love Venom, but I like Venom as when he's Eddie Brock. Because Eddie Brock is... He is the antithesis to Peter Parker. He has a lot of the same... You know... A lot, of, a lot of the same characteristics. He's got a lot. He's similar circumstances and whatnot. He's down on his luck guy, but he goes about it the wrong way. He wants the easy way out instead of you know like Peter does. He it's never about the easy path of Peter. It's about what's the responsible, the right path. And also, I, he kind of already had the suit. Already kind of had Spider-Man powers to begin with. Um. Although, thinking back on it, when Harry has him, he, he kind of shoots out tentacles or whatnot, but... Um, so, yeah, he usually gains, Venom gains Spider-Man powers from Spider-Man, but it oh, looks like we got more here. 
I'm sure this totally won't be a teaser for Green Goblin. I mean, we've had Norman Osborn for two games. It's about time we got Green Goblin. What do you want? Ah, uh, Doc Ock. Spider Man. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruin my son. Wasn't he already dying? And we we saved him from the symbiote suit that you put on him? Good. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. <laughs> My new fanfic. I guess he's coming up with plans to take out Peter Parker by Spider-Man when he gets out, but... Um... Yeah, if they're gonna be the two main villains in the next game, then there's no way you can't have... You can't have... You can't not have Peter Parker as Spider-Man. They're two of his biggest nemesis. And that's another thing, like, they just keep giving Peter's enemies to Miles to fight. He doesn't have any of his rogue gallery. All he had was, like, even Tinkerer was a Peter Parker Spider-Man enemy, so... Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to skip this, see if there's anything else after dinner. Okay, yeah, here. Figured there'd be something else. Oh, it's finally date night. The long anticipated. Oh, I thought it'd be date night between Haley, her, his mom and I hope you're hungry. And like she was seeing some guy or something, I thought. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mom, I was going to write it, but I had these sick new Spider-Man designs I needed to make. Some guy in Harlem. Probably seen him volunteering in the city. Helping out his city council mom. And trying to live up to his hero dad. I mean, like, usually don't wear it when I'm about to eat. I usually don't wear a scarf while I'm eating, too, either. If it's Norman Osborn, I swear to God. <laughs> Miles, Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. Okay, those are obviously references to other characters, but I don't know. I'll have to ask my friend about that. Sid. Albert and Cindy Moon? 
Yeah, don't know about that, but uh, hey, congratulations, you have finished the main story, but, but both Peter and Miles are still available to continue the adventure. You can now start a fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty. Good luck, hero. Okay. Alright, well... What's up, New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm going to manually save it, because I like manually saving it. Go back to the main menu here. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, just to finish up my review. Um, story, yeah, wasn't great. Got my issues with it. Um, but uh, gameplay, I thought was fantastic. It was much better. It was, you know, better expanded upon from the previous game. It was, it was crisper. It felt smoother. Uh, most of the mechanics I really like the abilities too. Some I, I still not a fan of the parry, but I I just because like I said I, I said earlier I think it's it, it's just totally antithetical to Spider-Man's whole style of fighting. He's usually about speed and agility and you know outmaneuvering his opponent, but I think I think. I mostly had an issue with the way they introduced it in the game with those tutorial, so, semi-tutorial areas where you're fighting a you know, you know, big guy with a shield or a big guy with an axe and you just had to sit there and wait for them to hit you so you can parry it and then hit them and then wait for them to hit you again, parry, hit them again. And those just took way too long. I didn't like that. So that's one black guy. That's really the only blemish I, you know, I think the gameplay had. Other than that, it was really solid. Uh, graphics were great. I was running this. It, I was running this on uh, performance mode, and it was really stable for the majority of the game. I don't. I don't recall too many hiccups occurring, and not a whole lot of graphical glitches. I played this a little bit later. Probably it's been. I think it's been, this game been, game's been out for a couple months, so I think they were able to tweak some of the bugs. They did have some. Quite a few, uh, not a whole lot you know, when a game first launched, but uh, I heard stories from my friends and some other folks, you know, and people online saying the bugs, but they were able to iron those out. But particularly is good. It's a lot of fun swinging through New York and gliding through it in this game. Glider was a really nice addition too. I uh, wish it was a you know little bit faster, but I guess that's why they put all the wind tunnels in there. But. Um, yeah, sound design was great. Soundtrack was pretty good for the most part. I think it did its job. Didn't, you know, not too many standouts. I like the main theme, which we're uh, getting a dose of here as uh, closing this one out. But yeah, um, I better wrap this one up. But thanks for joining me again. Um, this has been fun. I think the next game... Excuse me, I had a cough. Next thing I'm thinking I'll be playing is um, a Yakuza game, uh, Like a Dragon Gaiden, The Man Who Erased His Name, I believe is the title. I probably mixed some of that up, but yeah, look forward to that, and uh, if you could join me for that, I'd really appreciate it. Um, this has been Joe Stizzy again, and I may be talking about this game with, uh, with my buddy Loki Jarson on our podcast, The Internet's Worse, so... Uh, check in there. We don't update too frequently, but we're trying to get better at it. And if you could join us, that'd be great too. So, and you can follow me on Twitter at, at the Joe Stizzy and, or X, I guess it's called. So until next time, y'all take care. See y'all.